trouble in paradise as the trending breaking news has it that the marriage of the veteran actress of Motala Jalade Ekende is doing shaky shaky daddy and for the Sorosoke generation and the Indami generation that might not know who she is I am going to do a brief summary of her biography of course for Nollywood actress and singer of Motala Jalade Ekende she is living a quiet but purposeful life and she will always be what she shares about her life and all and off the screen. While she may not have featured in many movies as frequently as she used to do, her influence in the movie industry has not waned since the time of her Hollywood big moments where she dominated the movie screens and etched her name on the industry hall of fame, almost sexy as she is fondly called, marked her 25th year in the entertainment industry in the year 2002 and said that she was looking forward to more beautiful moments ahead of her. Omotala Jalade Kende is a Hollywood actress, singer, model, entrepreneur television personality and a philanthropist she has been regarded as one of the highest paid actress in Nigeria she is always known for playing in a romantic sorrowful and action trailer movies she has been in the industry for over two decades that is 20 years she always plays the role of a royal princess an independent corporate lady a good housewife and a determined young lady in several Nollywood movies now you've got to know who Omotala Jalade Ekeinde is explaining the trending breaking news that has to do with why her marriage is this shaky shaky daddy she was accused of having a thing with so 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 person that i am definitely not going to mention and in her defense she's trying to say that whatever they said happened happened when she actually went out for a particular event and met the person and whatever they had ended in what they ended that caused the shaky shaky marriage and she said that people don't know that she is not the type that loves to go out that she's either at home or at her office that she only likes to go out on official purpose and he does not know who the person that they're talking about is and she is saying that she has never met the person and that is the end of the story now for that interview in her defense the veteran actress also said that the opinion that any lady who does not have any source of livelihood should not consider marriage of course she was asked a question concerning if she would allow any of her child to marry at the age that she married of course she said that i was at the age of consent when i got married and above all i was matured when i met my husband currently i have only one child that is 18 years old so the question is late he is a boy and peradventure she said that he wants to get married i will not allow it because he does not have his own money one must apply wisdom or common sense in everything one does people cannot say that because i married at 18 therefore they can also do it the question is are you ready for marriage when i was at that age i was ready i had been working since i was 15 years old and i had become a millionaire at the age of 18 that is a fact that a lot of people don't know the married beautiful actress still advising the sort of generation she also told them to all go get their pvc ready for 2023 elections and she would have advised them not to be pressured by the lies that they see on social media of course she said in this age and time of intense pressures especially from social media find the time to log off have real life connection don't feel pressured by the many lies you see your worries are easier than that of many you may admire hang in there and be patient with yourself this is not the first time a celebrity will advise their followers during their interview about not getting confused with the lifestyle some people showcase to that of reality other celebrities has also said that of course at one time or the other they have shared the same sentiment about the misconception of a lot of people have about the lifestyle that they see on and off social media yeah. apologizing and explaining her own side of story consigning the trending breaking news actress Omotala Jolade Ekende has taken to social media to pen an apologetic appreciation marriage to her husband Captain Ekende she sent her felt apologetic message to her husband as she shared photos of herself and her hobby she described him as a ride or die who is always by her side and of course she explained that she recalled a day that she has complained to her husband about her bulging tummy after she took a picture and noticed that her tummy was coming out narrating further Omotala Jalade Ekende revealed that her husband cautioned her against photoshopping the pictures according to her husband told her she was sexy like that and advised her to be an example of true beauty to others now reading her apologetic message Omotala Jalade Ekende wrote this is an apologetic appreciation post thank you to the grand man always by my side my right or die 
hashtag the captain i remember me taking a pics and wondering why my tummy decided to come out to play despite not eating well for weeks and you said it is sexy don't you dare do photoshop what is it you guys do you should just be an example and that no one is less beautiful even when not perfect i love it i love you i own me it is the digression for me the gist out there is that the marriage is doing shaky shaky daddy but in all of her explanation she is here advising her fans she's also praising her husband she did not explain if her marriage is indeed doing shaky shaky daddy or why the marriage is even doing shaky shaky daddy but the point is that the news has it that the marriage is actually doing shaky shaky daddy but of course my source is still digging 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 to know if it is just the usual trending gist or if it is just the truth but while we are at that please do go to any INEC office that is close to your area and go get your pvc if you don't have any you all know that my only primary assignment on this my beautiful entertaining channel if you start what is always to bring to you guys any trending gist that i see circulating on the entire social media platform so as i just woke up this morning you know now so i see them all they say i want to do this i want to do that now so i can say oh yeah make a kukuma come give una this gist because the thing can't tire me can't wake me so i can't surprise i can't even shop in fact i was from Magastet. but as i come begin to dig deeper after this news come they circulate it can't be like say it be true it can't like say it may be true but the truth is this of course as i the report of me find this particular entertaining gist of course the matala the ekende did not come out to say this happened or it did not happen or it has to do with this but me searching about this the fact of this story on the social media i got to realize that whatever they are saying has to do with one particular movie that omatala did a very long time ago now you can make people when they talk about it they'll be like say there was a reason it has to trend in no because of whatever that is going on in this country now so everybody is just trying to see reason for them to trend or promote whatever they sell on different social media platform so keep on promoting and publicize my channel by clicking on the red icon down below for you not to miss out once i just upload anything that has to do with your favorite celebrities or your favorite housemate of big brother niger irrespective of the season and trust me eh, this sign your eyes reunion eh, it is so 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 boring 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 nobody's just giving me the ginger i want nobody's just giving me the content i want they're just sitting down there like it's if they're just doing a family meeting arguing and bantering was i need something you understand let them live secret if there's anything that happened under the duvet they should tell us things we can't really know great shows these are the things i'm looking forward to not just normal usual meeting hence i am not giving you guys entertainment and the analysis back to back and before i conclude today's news i am asking you again if you know that you're watching my video and you are 18 years above and you residence in this country called nigeria go and get your pvc if you don't have or